Filco, another bestseller from Realme. Realme 10 Pro plus 5G. Ito yung inanap ng lahat, no? Realme 10 lumabas a few months ago. But where was the Pro? Where was the Pro Plus? Never pa yung nangyari. Usually yung Pro kasama yan sa launch. Actually, Realme 10 was so successful. It sold so many units when it came out. Ganun din ba? Kay Realme 10 Pro plus 5G, ano ito na? Guys, Realme has been the number one smartphone brand for the past three years. Well, almost three years. Number one, ganun kalakas yung yellow brand. Kaya nga kami na yellow eh. And black, table black. Is this the Realme channel? <laughs> Secretly? No, joke lang guys. Wait lang, bago nyo kayo bash. Wait lang, hindi ba the Realme channel? We just review phones. Honestly, but yes, the Realme 10 Pro Plus 5G is here with the Dimensity 925G chipset. Meron pa siyang 120Hz AMOLED curved vision display, 108MP Pro Light camera, 67 watts fast charging, and 5,000 mAh of battery. Kakaiba yun, kasi usually 4,000 lang si Realme series. But this one is 5,000. Actually, I'm excited about this because meron na siya yung pinakabagong Realme UI 4.0, Android 13 na siya. It's got all the new features that I need on an Android phone. So without further ado, let's it bins and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Woohoo! Ano yun? Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so ito na yung box. Bagong bago. Meron na siya mga lines dyan. Hindi siya carbon fiber guys. Mga lines lang yan. Tapos sa likod yung specs, just like other Realme phones. At meron tayong 8256 dito. Hey! Welcome to the Realme family! Let's embrace a new journey. Yun. And inside, we got a lot of stuff here. Special package for the SIM ejector pin. Important information guide. Quick start guide. At yung kanyang smoked jelly case. Here's the phone. Ooh, look at that. Mamaya ka na. Underneath, we got the USB Type-C cable. And Oh, this is fast. I'm lucky. Wow. 67 Super VOOC fast charging charger. That's long. That's nice. Kasi 33 watts madalas yung sinasama sa box. This one is 67. Here's the phone. Oh. This looks different. Oh, wait lang. Play on Realme 10. Ah, uh, okay. So, ito si Realme 10. There you go. Realme 10 Pro plus 5G. Pa curved na. Box type. Pero yung kanya camera ay same na same. Wow. Ibang iba na talaga ngayon 2023. Ang napansin ko is yung kanyang camera module ay wala na. Hindi na pala uso yung camera module ngayon. Puro camera lens na lang. Lente na lang ang labanan ngayon. And it's got two big ones right here. Parang feeling ko next year mayroong isang malaking na tatlo. One, two, three. Ginagawa na ibang brand eh. Nakita ko na sa yung bagong labas. I'm just not sure yung iba bakit bilog para iPad yung kanilang design but this one is much more modern in design mas simple siya tingnan no? wala na yung parang pa-box or pa-oblong or uh, pa-social na extra design hindi naman kailangan yun eh eto guys sobrang minimalistic na camera na lang puk puk and the LED flash puk sorry guys low budget production ako na mismo yung nag sound effects and of course the Realme logo yan Looks like it's a big departure from the Realme 10 in terms of yung kanyang shape. Ito ay box type. Ito naman ay curved design. Kasi nga guys, they wanted this to be like a high-end flagship Android phone na curved ang kanyang display. Ito yung pinauso ng mga flagship Android phones. 3D curved AMOLED displays with a very symmetrical 3D curved back. And oh by the way, the color I have here is dark matter. Ito na yung dark matter na nakita. Kasi usually in dark matter guys, in science, hindi nakikita in dark matter. Okay, so ito, nakikita ko. And this one is dark energy. Kita nyo yun. Hindi nyo makita kasi. I have advanced alien eyes. Hiraulo. Oh, by the way, marasya ibang colors. Ito na po yun. Book. Hyperspace gold. But yes, yung dark matter is just a textured back, matte finish. Ayan po. Kapag tinatama ng ilaw, meron siya yung parang gradient effect. Ayun. The back has a nice curve to it. Masarap hawakan. Very ergonomic. It is symmetrical to the front display, as you can see. Very elegant point design. Very thin, actually. Grabe naman kinipis niyan. Wow. Sexing sexy. Speaking of sexy, ito na pala si Beng, ang aming sexing model.
Cut. Beep. Okay, one, two, three. Sexy. Okay. Mana <laughs> Wait, wait. Balik muna. Okay. Si Bang pala yun. Let me know guys in the comments below if you want to see Bang some more in my videos. The Realme 10 Pro Plus 5G is actually super thin. Razor thin. It weighs 7.78 millimeters thin. And 173 grams lang siya. Napakagaan. Actually nakapogi when you're like doing this. Selfieing like this. Or playing like this. But no, nobody plays like that. Crazy guy. Papogi. Kanya na tama. Bruh. Check what insights niya, no? Power button sa right side. Volume record sa taas niya. Sa left side, wala. Sa taas naman. Microphone. Uy. One speaker. Meron siyang dalawang speaker, guys. Stereo speakers pala siya. The other one sa ilalim. Ayan. USB type support. Microphone. And the SIM tray. Dual nano SIM card slot lang yan. Walang micro SD card slot kasi nga premium na daw siya ha. But don't worry, 256 naman to. Pero ito na ang hinihintay ko sa lahat. Which is the display guys! Oh my god, 6.7 inch of curved goodness. 1080p, 120Hz, AMOLED display. HDR10+, plus, 1 billion colors, and 800 nits of brightness. At ayun nga, curved yung display. So it's really different from the Realme 10 and 10 Pro. Nakaka-flagship yung dating niya. Kapag flat kasi yung display, guys, oh, okay. It's, it's mid-range. But curved! Uy, alam mo yan. Mas social yung dating. Mas pang manager or supervisor. Kasi nga, pag nilatag mo sa table mo, wow, that looks so nice. So elegant. Tapos yung bezels, look at that. It's razor thin. Grabe, halos wala na. This is 93 0.65% screen to body ratio. Wow. Grabe. It's like almost screen na lahat. At alam mo, lumulutang na lang yung content kapag minunod ka ng Netflix, YouTube. Ayan no? Grabe ang sharp yung tingnan. At ang lakas na dating nung pa-curve yung content. Everything is like curved here. Scrolling on Facebook. Yung mga pictures nagka-curve sa sides. And yes, meron siyang HDR10+. Plus. 4K! 60 frames per second. Gumagana po sa YouTube yung HDR na yan. And this is how it looks like. Ay, ang ganda. Grabe. I love HDR support sa video. Yan po makikita nyo when you're watching. It's even much more immersive than my iPhone. Ganda. Grabe yan, no? Woo! Look at that! Grabe. Sagad na sagad. Oh! Lumabas ako sa cellphone. First time. Oh! Kanang mawala, wag kanang mawala. Gusto mo mapunta lagi. Crazy guy, sitting in the middle of the video. Okay, so maganda yung kanyang display. Now, what about the performance? Dimensity 920. Bilis ba yan? It's almost 500 points sa Antutu benchmark. What does that mean? Okay na yan. Well, actually, okay na yan. It's not blowing my mind. But what will blow your mind is kung parang maglaro ng Mobile Legends. Dahil nung naglaro ako, meron siyang Hyper Boost Engine Game Engine Na bagong bago guys, kasi nga naka Realme UI 4.0 na siya There are some new features here, like for example yung touch sensitivity niya Ayan po, pag nag-swipe ka sa side, lalabas yung panel, pak! Here, pwede mo siyang i-adjust like that And we felt na parang almost on the same league as pro player smartphones That's right, sobrang smooth sa gamitin, very touch responsive And guess what, wala siyang missed touches sa gilid and actually, we really enjoyed the look of the game here kasi nga sobrang sagad. <laughs> Boy. Nung uh, itsura ng game, dahil sa kanyang pagka-curve yung display. Iba-iba uh, yung experience dito compared sa, let's say, your regular flat display. Ito po guys, parang, ayun, yun nga. Akala mo, display na lang nakikita mo. Display na niya hawak. Hindi siya parang phone. It looks so sagad. And with that, ang dami naming nakita sa mismo gameplay, no? Marami kasi siyang na isiksik dun sa display which is an advantage when we were playing the game. And of course, napansin namin meron siyang FPS counter na malaki, na colorful din. That's nice. And guess what? Sa Mobile Legends, 60 frames per second. Consistent. Minsan nag-59, minsan nag-61. Actually, the graphics is quite beautiful in this game. Well, of course, syempre naka-amulid siya na curve on top of the 120Hz refresh rate. Kaya lang wala siyang super refresh rate, walang ultra refresh rate. Sayang. Ito yung gusto ko sana makita no, kapag uh, naglalaro nung Mobile Legends, makita kong tumataas pa ng 70, 80, 90 FPS siya. 
nope, nope. Also guys, meron siyang bagong quick start up na mas mabilis na siya mag start up kapag ka mayroong ganito. Enabled. Kapag ka nag-swipe up ka, ayan, lalabas yung recents, meron siyang special label na quick start up. Siguro iba, di mapagintay. Ako kasi, I'm patient. Huwag na masyadong matagal. But yes, if you want faster booting of the game, this is it. Now, speaking of the recents, ito, meron kami na nalaman tungkol sa recents. Ito na, oh. Sige, ilipat mo nga, bro. God, this is so low budget. Ayan na. So, ilipat na natin. Okay, so, ito na. So, sa recents, napansin namin, nasa ilalim, meron na mga icons. Ayan, no? Okay, so, ano ngayon? Well, sa traditional kasi, maghahanap pa tayo ako. Ano ba yung hinahanap ko dati na, na, na app? Ayun. Hindi mo agad manalaman yon. Ilang steps ka pa? Ito guys, alam mo agad kung anong app. So, pwede ka mag-shortcut. Oop, dito ako agad. Pwede ka tuto agad. Ayun. Shortcut. Nice feature yan, no? Kung nagpamadali ka. Less steps. So, ayan na siya. Boom. Diba? Ang sumatingnan. Mas modern at Pwede mo hold And large folder. Ayan, mas malaki na. Wow. Pwede mo pa yung lipat-lipat. At pwede mo palakihin yan. Just like that, no? Nag-adjust, no? Another neat feature is this. Tano mo? Open ko to. Tapos pwede ko i-hold. Ilagay sa taas. Ayun, nakatabi, no? And, boom. Floating window. Pwede ka mag-open ng panibago. Pak! Ayan, no? Nasa side lang siya. Nice feature. Ah, ayan na. Pwede mo siyang lumaki. Ooh, drag and drop. So, ayan. Kung uh, multitasking ang kalahan mo, it can do that. Now, going back to gaming, no? we straight away. <laughs> Call of Duty, ito po yung settings na available sa kanya. High graphics, very high frame rates, at pwede siya mag-max frame rates kapag ka low graphics lang. At ayun, very smooth naman siya all throughout the game. Since nga super sensitive na, at uh, very accurate yung kanyang touch, dahil sa kanyang hyper boost game engine, this is perfect for games like this one, no? na marami ka pinipindot, uh, maraming touches na involved, kailangan ng accuracy, this is perfect. Also, yes, ang ganda ng graphics thanks to the beautiful display plus yung kanyang magandang processor. Ayun. Very smooth main game. Walang problema. Yun lang, sa Genshin Impact, medium graphics, nasa around 40 frames per second. Yun. Consistently, minsan nagbababa ng 30 plus. Depending sa nangyayar sa screen, no, kapag uh, maraming animation, nagka 30 plus. Kapag uh, wala masyado, 40 plus, mga ganon, medium graphics, guys. So kung, kung medium na, tas ganito lang, well, yun lang kaya niya. Yung mga iba, umabot ng 60 frames per second. Ayun na naman. That is the smoothest you can get with this game for Android, ha? Kasi yung iba mga 120 FPS, eh, like sa... Basta yun, mayroong mga nakakagawa ng 120. Doon sabi niyon. Pero yun, pwede siya laruin at this amount of frames per second. So, okay naman siya. Now for camera. Okay, so major improvement. 108MP camera. Meron pa siya 8MP ultrawide at 2MP macro lens. And with that, here are the pictures. Now in terms of the quality, well, I would have to say na, okay naman siya. It doesn't blow my mind. I've seen much better photos than this. Sa mga flagship phones, but in terms of mid-range cameras, nandun siya sa top tier. No, maganda talaga siya. Malinis naman tingnan. Uh, although, the color could be much more accurate. No? May very punchy lang talaga siya. Especially kapag ka AI mode. Adds more color and contrast. Minsan OA. But it does have nice exposure. No? Okay naman siya exposure niya. Yung dynamic range and dun din. More details in the dark areas. At balance out man yung kanyang very bright areas. Ayun. Oh, by the way, meron siya yung bagong watermark. It's, uh, dalawa siya. Meron siyang normal watermark. Which is this one. Yung hindi masyado uh, halata. Ayun. Yung parang nasa gitna, ayun. Pero may yellow pa rin na logo. <laughs> meron na yung street watermark. Ayan, yung halatang halata na merong label sa ilalim. Ayan. Yung usually na ginagamit ng mga professionals. Ayan. Gusto mo maging mukhang pro. Ayan, meron siya ganyan. Speaking of street, meron siya street mode dito. Which can shoot 24mm yung kanyang wide angle. 16mm sa ultra wide. And 15mm sa zoom niya. Hindi ko na sure kung ano yung kanyang, kung may cropping ba to sa 24mm kasi nga kapag uh, APS-C iba yung 24 compared sa full frame. Ayan, yun na naman. Sa video, ito naman yung itsura niya. Sakto lang din, up to 4K 30 frames per second. Meron siyang AI sa video. So if you want much more punchy colors, much more better lighting, you can turn on the AI. Now, although meron siyang night mode, no? Meron din siyang ultra steady mode, ayan, kung gusto mo ng mas stable na video, pwede. Aba naglalakad ka? Gamitin mo to. Now, going to night mode. Meron siya night mode, no? Night mode is a nice feature to have kapag ka 
madilim yung lugar. Although si photo mode, meron din siya night mode kapag naka AI. Ayun, kapag ka nakita niyang medyo madilim, nag night mode siya agad. So you don't have to press the night mode. Pero Beans, ba't ka pa nag night mode kung meron naman sa photo mode? Well, dito sa night mode mismo, pwede ka mag pro mode. May pro mode para siya, may timer, may sarili siyang settings dito. So nice. And speaking of the pro mode, it does have a nice new interface easy to read, madaling i-change yung settings. This is nice for photographers. I love it. Mukhang may emphasis to sa photography, ah. Kasi mukhang ginaring nila dito. Ang, ang daming features sa kanyang camera app. Nice. And ito yung kanyang mga ibang features dito. Ayan po. Check nyo na lang. May starry mode din, dual video, and things like that. The selfie camera is beautiful. 16 megapixels of poginess. Ako na sabi sa inyo, nakapogi ang camera ni Realme. Ito yung tipong camera na may in-love ka sa sarili mo. No? Even though na baka wala na in-love sa inyo, at least yung camera nyo ay nakaka-inlove. That's nice. Kamusta naman siya sa giggle selfie? Yun, maganda siya guys. Sa giggle selfie, pouting lips. Okay then, very pinkish. At may watermark din siya sa selfie. Ayun na naman. So ayun pala si Realme 10 Pro Plus 5G. Ibang iba siya sa Realme 10 and 10 Pro. Box type yun. Ito naman, curved. Gwapong gwapo. Android 13 na. Realme UI 4.0. Ayun. Now, magkano yung price? Ayun. The price is 8128. Guys, 19,999 pesos lang. Wow. Pero kung gusto mo pa ng mas marami, mas malaking RAM and ROM, 12 gigs plus 256 gigs, 24,999 pesos. Both variants for the Realme 10 Pro Plus 5G are available for pre-order from February 27 to March 10. At pwede mo na sila maklaim on March 11 to 12. Oh, by the way, meron pa palang Realme 10 Pro 5G release kasabay ng Pro Plus 5G. Isang variant lang, no? 8256, 16,999 pesos. Available in offline stores from February 15 to 19. And every purchase of the Realme 10 Pro 5G comes with a free Dizo Power Bank, 10,000 milliampere, and a pair of Tech Life Buds Classic worth 1,198 pesos. Available sa Shopee, February 15 only. At available sa Lazada, February 15 to 17 only. So mostly, offline store to. Ngayon ang tanong, bibili mo pa siya? Kaya nakakaalam yan. No? Let me know guys in the comments below if bibili nyo siya. And let me know guys if bibili nyo rin si Realme 10 Pro. Kasi sabay siya lumabas with the Pro Plus. Box type naman yun. And you know, it's LCD. Ito ay AMOLED. And just to be clear, and of course, magkakaroon pa rin ng maraming, maraming Realme videos just like this one. Kaya mag-subscribe ka na, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. Tapos si Bins, and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Hoo-hoo. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Ako lang na actually yun. Kala nyo may background music talaga. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom.